A little subheading under fractions there, ladies and gentlemen. Of all ages is this. Is this. Uh, is this. It is changing mixed numbers. We have done the opposite of that. As a matter of fact, you're usually told to do that. Usually, if you have an improper fraction, you want to make it a mixed number. But there are times in math when you need to make go well, the other way and make a mixed number improper. For example, if you have four and one half, okay, that is a mixed number. It's called mixed because it is a whole number and a fraction. Okay, we are going to change that. We need to make that improper. And if you think about it, this is really what we're doing. Okay, we have four and one half circles. Is that all four circles? Okay, and I want to change it so that is just a fraction. Well, here's kind of the thought process with that. Since the fraction has halves in it, that means I want to cut everything in half and make them all halves. And if I asked you how many total halves, if I have four and a half, how many total halves is that? Well, here's one half, two halves, three halves, four halves, five halves, six halves, seven halves, eight halves, and there's nine. So this, as an improper fraction, is nine halves. But I'm going to guess you probably don't want to draw circles and do all that kind of gobbledygook there. There is a quicker, shorter way that does the same exact thing. And here are the simple little steps to that. Let's say I'm starting with four and a half. The first thing you do is multiply the whole number by your denominator. Multiply the whole number by the denominator, which means 4 times 2 equals 8. After that, step number 2 is you then want to add the numerator to that number. Add the numerator to that number. So 8 plus the 1 up here gives me 9. You'll notice that's my new numerator for the new numerator. And then step number three is you keep your same denominator. Keep the same denominator. Which means my bottom number was two, so it stays two. Four halves is the same exact thing as 9 halves. Again, usually you're told not to leave things as improper, but it does have its purposes later on in mathematics. Here, let's do a couple of them. You'll see how it's just as easy as this is. Uh, let's say you have 2 and 3 fourths. Let's see. Quickly, now we can do this. We multiply 2 times 4, which is 8. Add the top to 8, which is 11. Keep the same bottom. 11 fourths is the improper fraction. That means the same thing as. My scribbling is not really working very well today. Sometimes, some days are diamonds, children. Some days are stones. Uh, what about something bigger? Uh, three and seven tenths. As improper, that would be what? It shouldn't. This is not a long, drawn out process. It's a pretty simple one. Even if you're good at your math facts and your multiplication and your adding, this should snap right out. Zach, Zepia says. Correct. Because three times ten is thirty. You add the 7 to the top of that, that's 37, and you keep the same bottom number. Are we feeling good in the neighborhood there? Yeah. Uh, I don't think there's anything really too much more. 
Well, let's do one of these problems. Just because the book will give you one. Uh, the book will say write one and one half. Write one and one half, and two and and uh, three and a third as improper. Then multiply them. Exclamation point. So if we have one and one half, we're going to multiply that by three and a third. What is one and one half as improper? Andrew Paul Strato. Um, multiply by the bottom and the top, keep the same bottom. Uh, 3 over 2. 3 over 2. What is 3 and 1 third as improper, Sam? Um, Multiply the bottoms at the top. Oh, yeah. oh. oh. Uh, not. Three times three, Sam, plus one is oh, ten. Three and a half. Yeah. Or three, two. Yeah, 3 times 3 is 9 plus 1 is 10. Yeah. Keep the same number. Now when I multiply across, what do I get? 3 times 10 is 30, and 2 times 8 is 16. And now... It's 3. Oh, 6. Yes. I have no idea what that did. And now when you get your answer... Okay, now you have to change that back to a mixed number. 30 over 6 is what, George Shaw? It is five. Nice block letters. 